Okay, hold on, Colin. Let me put you on speaker. Okay, we're here, Chloe. Hey, y'all. Uh, um, I Chloe says, "Hey, I hope y'all heard her." Um, I told y'all I was gonna come right home and watch the Real Housewives and do the review, and I actually did. I avoided my bed. I haven't even looked at my bed since I walked through the door. I came right to the desk, and I'm here with my notes, and I'm ready. So, um, this was episode ten. Yeah, because last week was nine. So this is episode ten. The the one I've been waiting on when Marlo was gonna get out that car at South Africa. But we get to that. So the episode started with Nene going to visit Marlo at her house. Now for a trashy lady, Marlo got a nice ass house, very classy and upscale. She ain't pay for none of it, but it's still very you know classy and sophisticated. Surprisingly, I thought she would. Being her rap sheet with the seven mug shots and things, you would think she wouldn't live to up such high standards. But hey, everybody gets theirs how they get theirs. That's beyond the point. Um, however, I am totally over to both of them, Marlo and Nene, for a couple of reasons. They annoy me first of all. Well, Marlo not as much as Nene. Nene annoys me because she just it seems like Nene always needs somebody to be with her, like. Now she she had Kim. Well, back in the first season, she had Sheree. Then they fell out a little bit, but they still was friends. Then she had Kim. Then she had that one girl, that one lady who was gold digging on the football player, uh, Diana. And now she got Marlo. So it's just like she's continuously, she can't hold her own. She knows she went to this Africa trip by herself. They would have thrown her ass to the Lions, and, and she would have got eight. And she messy. She messy as hell. Talking about some, I really want you to go just to have a good time. You know you want Marlo to go because you want to be messy as hell. And it's going to cause some shit when they got ready to get out that car. I'm going to get to that part. But that's beyond the point. They was at their house. Yeah, like in the first season, her and Sheree got into it about... <laughs> Not that episode. <laughs> And you know, another thing about the whole very thing, she is very a lot of stuff this season. She gonna take this catchphrase and run with it. The whole, I'm very rich, I'm very, I like very expensive things, I am very sophisticated. If she say very, well, she better not say nothing to begin with a V, let alone very. I'm not playing. If she eats some veal, she better not call it. She better say, I mean lamb. She better not say veal. But that's beyond the point. We have spent three minutes on that one segment. Let's go to Kim. We went to Kim, and Sweetie Face is changing. I'm telling y'all, Sweetie Face is, like, morphing into something that has not been before. That's not Sweetie. I seen her sitting on that couch. That's not her. I don't know who that was. Um, And let's talk about Croy. I like Croy. After today's episode, I really liked Croy more than I did before. He is really nice for Kim. They do a nice little balance. Because, you know, Kim's out of control, and he's all, you know, calm and... Festive and he loved the kids. Croy loved the kids. So I like Croy. And this whole mummy rap thing looked like it was so much fun. I wanna find out who do it. Cause I wanna be a mummy and be all wrapped up and then I get to lose weight too. It's double my pleasure. Double the fun. Don't you sing it, Chloe. And she lost ten and a half inches in that one little forty five minutes all together, like off her entire body. So that's damn good for 45 minutes of being wrapped up like a mummy. Shit, I'll do it. Um, And BTW, I don't think Kim is that big for real to be needing to lose no more problem. I think Kim is a respectable size, but that's beyond the point. Right. Um, Then they was going back and forth between Kim and Candy working out, so I think they was trying to show the difference in, you know, their perspective on working out. Candy's workout looked like it was fun too. Like I'm a connoisseur of working out things. I like doing like workout and stuff like that. I just I like to do it. I just don't like to do it if that's makes sense. It's just like it was fun. Like Yeah, right. Like I know I need to to keep myself up, but I still that don't mean I like getting out of bed and running five miles or something like that. But Candy's workout looked like it was 
fun. She was like flipping tires and jumping through hoops and carrying dumbbells. I was like, that looks like it's fun. I'm in. Call me. I'll do it. Um, I like Candy's workout. Candy. Oh, wait. Candy said she's glad that they're going to South Africa during the winter time. North, south, east, west. Oh, okay. That never mind. That takes my point away because I was gonna say candy is Africa. It's always hot, but then like it's only always hot in like the part of the equator. But if you get south, it's still cold. So never mind. Disregard that comment. Um, Cynthia was not playing about going on this trip. Her and she was gonna get her culture in. And Peter, Peter pissed me off to new extremes this episode for a couple of reasons. One, because I just can't stand him. Two, how the fuck you gonna be mad at Cynthia because she wanna get away from your old dusty, crusty ass and gonna get mad and tell her, oh, you going on 10 days with your girlfriends, but I can't have one day with you. Bitch, how long y'all been married? Like, a, a good two years. And now you all of a sudden wanna be mad because she going on vacation. But y'all been married all this time. You should have been going out every night or once a week when y'all got married, and maybe your relationship wouldn't be going on a snowball to hell, Peter. And I hope you're watching. Um, Cynthia, I think you need to divorce his ass as well. Next page. Okay. Phaedra, um, Apollo needs to give me that car. Mail it on up here, because I want it. Um, and Aiden is so cute. They little little tiny top for Christ. He was funny. Um, Apollo, like, seven... Phaedra's cray. Phaedra didn't really do this much this episode, which surprises me because Phaedra's usually my favorite, but she wasn't like that much on this episode. So that's all I have to say about Phaedra. All right. Nene. Um, they went back to Nene. Her and Marlo went shopping for Africa. And this blew me more than anything could ever possibly blow me. Nene got her um, little bill. She apparently went in this store and spent $10,000 worth of shit. And she was upset. Put it back on my card. No, don't put it back on her card. I told you, Nene, last episode or last review that I'm going to be on your ass. If you want to be very rich, you're going to be very rich. So you spend that $10,000 until your ass is broke. Again, back to where you was at season one and I liked you. So until then, you spend $10,000 on two things. You are very rich. You got it. Say it, Chloe. See? See? <laughs> they both some label hoes, if you ask me. They both label whores. Label whores, both of them. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, then went back to Kim. Was this one? They need to get married. Okay, Corey's up here. Oh, that's when they went out to dinner. Before Corey, the lockout is over, and Corey getting ready to go back for 30 days. And I just really think Kim and Corey need to get married. If they Did Kim and Corey get married? I think so. Oh, okay. Well, congratulations, y'all. Cause and if y'all didn't, y'all need to because y'all are so balanced. Like I never seen Kim look this festive and happy, and you know the kids like Croy, and you got KJ and a little dog or a cat or whatever it is. Cause I still think it's both. That thing is. I don't know what's going on with the animal, but I think it's both. It's like a a dat. It's a dat. That's what we are gonna call it. A dat. And. I just love them together, and they need to get married, but they're festive. Okay. Um, yeah, Corey's going back. Candy, what is going on with that? Oh, with the, her daughter. Her daughter needs to take them glasses off, and somebody needs to take them braids out of her hair. I'm not one to sit here and talk about people's children, but them braids got to go, and them glasses got to go, too. That's all the time I'm going to spend on it. Okay. Kim. They came back to Kim. Oh, the surprise. Stupid ass sweetie with her changing ass face fucked up the big surprise for Croy. And I was pissed. I think I was more pissed than Kim was. Like, sweetie, get your shit together. You should have had started this shit an hour or a half ago. And you want to start dropping rose petals when the fucking date on their way in the door. You dummy. You big black dummy. That's what you are. And what, where's my hat? And another thing, I hate rose petals in the bathtub. Let me tell y'all why. Like, why would you put rose petals in the bathtub? Then you get up and you got fucking rose petals stuck to your body. Then you got to peel them off. Then you got to throw them away. 
And then how do you get those rose petals that's left over out of the tub? Like, who the fuck is about to peel rose petals out of the tub? Fuck that. Put them on the floor where you can vacuum them up, sweep them, but don't put that shit in the bathtub. And why was Kim Daddy still in the bathroom? You creep. With them denim shorts on. Who the hell still wears denim shorts? Or denim for that matter. Well, I mean, people still wear jeans, but not like blue, like light blue wash jeans that I wore when I was in elementary school. Now, shit. Uh, Faye Jonah Apollo's about to bone in the car. Um, Candy decided she wanted to roll up on a cheetah when she gets to Africa. And I, for one, am here to tell her if she does roll up on a cheetah, she will be eaten. And that cheetah will not take no type of sympathy on her soul. It will eat her and take it back to her family and feed the family with her. So, I, unless you supervise, I wouldn't roll up on no cheetahs. And I want to know where Cynthia thought she was going with them fucking heels on up to the fucking sky. <laughs> like, you're going to Africa. You're not going to, like, Europe or Paris. You're going to Africa. Ain't no sidewalks. It's all grass and dirt. That was an ignorant statement. I retract that. <laughs> it's it's a sidewalk somewhere in Africa, but clearly they were going to like the motherland, like where the cheetahs and the elephants roam and stuff. I'm sure there's a sidewalk somewhere, but it ain't much. It's more like grass and you know dirt and things. Get you some boots or something. You had to wear heels on a twenty hour flight. You got on heels. You gonna be pissed before two hours, I bet. Um, I mean, I can then go, oh, when Ke when Corey got ready to go, I almost felt a tear. I had to. I did. I'm a sensitive person, contrary to popular belief. And I was really sad to see Corey get ready to go. And he went and told the little girl bye, and she was sad. And the little cat dog was sad. And Kim was real sad. I was real sad that Corey had to leave. He'll be back. But, um, Okay. The last scene, the most important scene of the entire episode that I think they um they planned the fuck out of this shit when Nene got her moose ass out the car and then she came up, hey y'all, I'm all happy bougie. And then a couple of minutes later, oh Marlo's getting her stuff out the car. Everybody looking like Marlo. Is she carrying your bags for you? Marlo got out that car, and you should have seen everybody's face. Everybody's face was like, what the fuck is she doing here? And <laughs> Phaedra, Phaedra planned the trip, and Phaedra didn't even know she was coming. So you know it was on some sneak-ass shit. They messy as fuck. However, I will say this. It's going to make for a good-ass trip, because I can't wait to see next episode. Did y'all see the preview? That preview, I don't know. I seen somebody screaming at somebody. Nene was screaming at um, girl, um, what's her name, Marlo, and Marlo was screaming at Candy, and I just can't wait for next week. So there's a review. I hope you guys like it, like it. Um, this one went 14 minutes. Goddamn. All right, that's all. I'm about to go find me something to eat and um, probably take a nap. So I'll talk to y'all later. Tonight, maybe. I don't know if something happens. All right. Peace. Say bye, Chloe.